does this uh, vacuum piping look correct? We've got that one that we thought had a split in, hence the amalgamating tape. But I don't think it did in the end. Anyway, that goes to the uh, boost control solenoid, I think it was, or vacuum control solenoid, one of the two. We've got the two uh, vacuum lines going off it, one going to the turbo actuator, there's my nice new shiny turbo. One going from there round to this joint here, which then goes into this vacuum tank, I'm assuming, and then that other pipe all the way along here there to the uh, vacuum pump but it can just be like real easily pulled off on and off it's not hard at all uh, let's see we got a vacuum hose going from the shut off valve uh, around there down with that there it is. Uh, down there I'll go around here and check <laughs> Going from shut off valve down here and going to the bottom of that uh, there. So it's a bit awkward with one hand using a phone. With that little boost sensor, I've been told it is. And then we've got the other pipe from that sensor on the end going to the other end of the vacuum tank or vacuum canister whatever you want to call it and obviously we've got the main vacuum line going uh, to the vacuum pump from uh, all the way around there and then to the servo uh, so does anything look odd or out of place or anything like that I mean this pipe had a problem coming off once or twice um, while driving sometimes happened to my mum on the motorway uh, it came off here to put it back on and then um, try to stop it from coming off it sounds like a tractor when it does um, can't see if there's anything in the radiator uh, um, intercooler sorry like a split or anything or any air leaks um, uh, bottom intercooler hose down there it's a bit oily like but like, so is that all down there, so go figure. Uh, that's alright, from what I know, that's going to the turbo down there, okay. Uh, I mean, they've got a leaking gasket here, that little O ring on here. Uh, and there's the outer EGR valve down there. Let's see if you can see it from here. The bottom bolt for it down there, or there. That one the, uh, on the bottom, down there, the other one the lights on there, yeah behind it, the flange for the inner valve uh, broke, we were trying to get it out, so it's kind of bent over a bit, but it seems to seal okay, but I don't know whether it'd be worth changing that. Uh, that's about all I can think of really. Uh, I've tried unplugging the MAF and the MAP sensor. They don't really seem to make much difference to it running idle. It still seems to smoke, I think. Obviously, we've not been able to drive it. I can't tell exactly. Um, I think that's about it. So I'm just wondering whether all that vacuum system's been put back together right or not, or how it should go. Go back together. <laughs>